Marcus Aurelius once said, it's not what we say that defines us, but what we do. Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where today's journey delves into the complex world of trust and respect. But be warned, this isn't your typical exploration. Trust, often seen as the silent bond that unites us, can shatter in a moment's notice. Not over years, as we've been led to believe. It's a startling truth, but what I'm about to unveil will radically shift your understanding of human connections. Are you prepared to question everything you've been taught about the pillars of human relationships? Stay with me, because the insights we're about to uncover will forever alter your view of those around you. Brace yourself for an eye-opening journey. In this episode, we venture into the treacherous landscape of human interactions, spotlighting nine specific personalities that defy the norms of trust and respect. We're moving beyond the usual narratives to illuminate the lesser-known aspects of human nature. Get ready to see the world of relationships in a new, more stoic light. The Pretender of Attention In the intricate tapestry of human interactions, there exists a character as common as it is frustrating. The Pretender of Attention. This individual, a veritable artist in the realm of feigned interest, plays a recurring role in our daily theater of dialogues. When you're engaged in a conversation, pouring your thoughts and emotions into the words you share, only to realize that the person opposite you is merely an actor on this stage. Their nods and affirmations like, I understand or that's true, are nothing but rehearsed lines, delivered with a distracted gaze and a mind that roams far from the present moment. This behavior is not just tedious, it's a subtle form of disrespect. Imagine the frustration when during their turn to speak they plunge into the digital abyss of their cell phone, leaving you stranded in a one-sided conversation. Their responses, devoid of substance and sincerity, echo hollowly in the space between you. It's akin to conversing with a wall, where your words bounce back, devoid of a destination or purpose. The realization that they priorities of pixels and notifications over the richness of human interaction presents a stark dilemma. Should you continue striving for a meaningful dialogue with someone so evidently disinterested, or should you respect your own time and effort by ending the interaction? The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. In this context, the answer becomes evident. Engaging with someone who treats conversation as a mere formality, without genuine investment, is akin to pouring your energy into a bottomless vessel. Recognizing the value of your words and time is crucial, and it involves understanding when they are not being appreciated. In such situations, do not hesitate to gracefully exit the conversation. This isn't an act of surrender, but a strategic choice to invest your communicative efforts where they will be acknowledged and reciprocated. By choosing to walk away, you are not only respecting yourself but also setting a standard for the quality of interactions you deserve. Opt for conversations that are enriching, reciprocal, and meaningful. In these scenarios, the silence you choose can speak volumes more than any wasted words. It's a decision that reflects self-respect and a quest for authentic interactions, where each participant is genuinely engaged both in listening and speaking. In our modern world, where digital distractions are omnipresent, this lesson becomes even more pertinent. We must learn to discern between those who are truly present in our conversations and those who merely pretend to be. The advice here is clear. Value your time and your words by investing them in interactions that are genuine and reciprocal. In doing so, you honor not only yourself, but also the ancient wisdom of Stoicism, which teaches the importance of meaningful connections and the art of listening. The Toxic Individual In this segment, we delve into the realm of human interactions, specifically focusing on a particular type of person you're better off avoiding, the toxic individual. Picture this. You're navigating through life, and suddenly you find yourself in an emotional battlefield riddled with traps and hazards that threaten your mental and emotional well-being. This is often the reality when dealing with toxic people who are adept at spreading negativity and discomfort. 
These individuals exhibit their toxicity in various, often subtle ways. Imagine constant criticism that slowly chips away at your self-esteem or emotional manipulation that leaves you feeling confused and unstable. Their disrespectful behavior can cause pain and create a distance between you and others. In their presence, the air feels heavy, laden with negativity that stifles happiness and hampers productivity. The negative energy exuded by toxic people can be likened to a contagious virus seeping into the atmosphere and affecting everyone in its vicinity. Spending time with them can feel like an endless struggle, each interaction a test of your emotional resilience. The first step in safeguarding yourself from such toxicity is recognition. Be vigilant for signs like demeaning comments or controlling behavior and understand how these dynamics impact your well-being. Remember, respecting yourself involves setting clear boundaries and not permitting anyone's toxic behavior to encroach upon your emotional space. Assertive communication is your shield in this battle. It's not just your right, but a necessity to voice your discomfort against toxic behavior for the sake of your mental health. However, if the negativity persists and the toxic influence continues to seep in, distancing yourself becomes not just a wise decision, but an imperative one. Defending yourself emotionally against toxic individuals is crucial. By identifying and understanding harmful behavior patterns, you empower yourself to establish and maintain boundaries that protect your well-being. This isn't merely about self-preservation. It's a step towards nurturing more positive and fulfilling relationships. Creating an environment that fosters well-being and positivity is an act of self-care. In the intricate web of human relationships, it's vital to surround yourself with people who contribute positively to your emotional health. By recognizing and distancing yourself from toxic influences, you pave the way for healthier, more rewarding connections. In distancing yourself from toxic individuals, you're not only protecting yourself, but also opening the door to more genuine and meaningful relationships. As we wrap up this enlightening exploration of human relationships and their complexities, I want to leave you with a thought from the Stoic philosopher Seneca, associate with people who are likely to improve you. This journey we're on together, exploring the nuances of human connections, is a collective step towards personal growth and understanding. Remember, every interaction, every relationship, is a step on our path of discovery and growth. Choose your companions wisely, for they shape your journey and influence your destination. Sharing their misfortunes with everyone. In the intricate tapestry of human relationships, we often encounter individuals who seem perpetually ensnared in a web of misfortune. These are the people who, at every opportunity, share their tales of woe and hardship, painting their lives as an unending saga of trials and tribulations. This narrative, while initially invoking sympathy, gradually reveals a deeper, more concerning pattern. It becomes evident that their constant struggles are not merely a stroke of bad luck, but often a direct result of their own choices and actions. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, we have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This wisdom is particularly relevant when dealing with such individuals. They often seem to be in an endless cycle of conflicts and adversities, loudly proclaiming that life is a series of insurmountable obstacles. Their lives are portrayed as labyrinths of trials. Yet a closer inspection often reveals that it is their own decisions and refusal to learn from past mistakes that lead them back to these familiar problems. This pattern of perpetual hardship is not a mere coincidence or an inexplicable stroke of fate. In many cases, it is a self-woven web of complications, a direct consequence of poorly calculated decisions, and a stubborn refusal to adapt or change. The person appears trapped in a vicious cycle of self-inflicted problems, often unaware or unwilling to acknowledge their role in their creation. When interacting with such individuals, it is crucial to maintain a certain emotional distance. Becoming deeply involved in their chaotic world can be perilous, as their problems may start to weigh on your shoulders as heavy burdens. Their inability to manage their own emotions adds another layer of complexity to the situation, making involvement even riskier. 
It's essential to approach these individuals with a healthy dose of skepticism and emotional intelligence. In the modern world, where our lives are interconnected more than ever, it's important to remember that while compassion is a virtue, it should not come at the expense of your own well-being. The narratives of endless difficulties presented by such individuals can easily become a weight for you. In the complex dance of life, sometimes the wisest move is to step back and prioritize your own peace and balance. This approach does not mean a lack of empathy or care, but rather a conscious choice to preserve one's own mental and emotional health. Remember, absorbing someone else's difficulties can be an excessive burden. In certain situations, the most sensible choice is to maintain a safe distance, not out of indifference but out of a need to preserve your own well-being and peace of mind. In conclusion, while everyone's life has its own challenges, it is important to recognize when involvement in someone else's perpetual cycle of misfortune is detrimental to your own well-being. Learning to discern when to offer support and when to maintain a healthy distance is a crucial skill in navigating the complexities of human relationships. As we journey through life, let us remember to listen more, speak less, and exercise wisdom in our interactions, always mindful of our own peace and balance. The Manipulator In the intricate dance of human relationships, navigating the deceptive currents set by manipulators is a task demanding utmost vigilance and wisdom. Why is this so crucial? The answer lies in the fundamental need for an emotionally nourishing environment, a sanctuary for our well-being. Manipulators adept in the dark arts of self-interest tirelessly seek their own gain, often at a high cost to those around them. Their arsenal is diverse and insidious, ranging from outright lies and psychological subterfuge to the more subtle art of emotional exploitation, all wielded with the singular goal of achieving their selfish ends. The peril of manipulators is often cloaked in the subtlety of their tactics, rendering them challenging to detect. These traits can insidiously infiltrate both personal and professional spheres. Falling into the trust trap set by manipulators can lead to profound betrayals, inflict deep emotional scars, and corrode the very foundation of trust we place in others. So how does one fortify oneself against these cunning adversaries? The first line of defense is in recognizing the telltale signs of manipulation. Stay vigilant for red flags such as a lack of transparency, inconsistent actions, and a pervasive sense of being controlled or coerced. Setting firm boundaries is paramount in this struggle. Communicate your stance with unwavering clarity, and do not shy away from voicing discomfort when faced with manipulative behavior. Sometimes the wisest course of action is to create distance, particularly if manipulative patterns persist. To respect oneself is to acknowledge the toxicity of a relationship and to take decisive steps to safeguard one's mental health. This may entail severing ties with manipulative individuals and seeking emotional support when needed. By remaining alert to these indicators and establishing unyielding boundaries, you lay the groundwork for healthier, more authentic connections. It's a journey of self-preservation, a path towards fostering genuine, enduring relationships. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This wisdom resonates profoundly in our dealings with manipulators. Listening attentively and observing actions critically can reveal much about a person's true intentions. In our modern lives, where interactions are often fleeting and superficial, applying this stoic principle can be a powerful tool in discerning the genuine from the deceitful. In conclusion, dealing with manipulators requires a blend of vigilance, firm boundaries, and self-respect. It's about nurturing an environment where trust and authenticity flourish and where manipulative tendencies are recognized and addressed with wisdom and strength. As we journey through life, let us strive to cultivate relationships that are rooted in honesty and mutual respect, embodying the timeless virtues of Stoicism in our modern world. Perpetual friend to everyone. In the intricate web of our social lives, we often cross paths with a certain type of individual, one who seems to be the life and soul of every gathering. Picture this person. They're like a beacon of light, 
their energy infectious, their smile a magnet drawing people in. They're the ones who seem to know everyone, their laughter echoing above the crowd, their presence a constant in every social circle. But let's pause and look a little closer, beyond this dazzling exterior. This person, let's call them the perpetual friend to everyone, is a master at navigating the social seas. They steer conversations with ease, their words smooth and their demeanor charming. To the untrained eye, they are the epitome of a true friend always there, always ready to lend an ear or a helping hand. But if we delve it deeper, we might see that their actions are not driven by a genuine desire for meaningful connections. Instead, they are fueled by a craving for attention, a need to be admired and liked by all. In their quest to be everyone's friend, they often miss the essence of what it means to be a true friend. Their interactions, though seemingly warm, lack the depth and sincerity that form the foundation of real friendships. They are like actors on a stage, playing the part of the affable companion, yet their script is devoid of true emotional investment. Their smiles, while inviting, are as practiced as a courteous nod, lacking the spontaneity of genuine affection. As listeners, we might find ourselves merely extras in the grand play of their social life, our roles insignificant in their pursuit of popularity. This realization brings us to an important lesson about discernment in friendships. It reminds us of the Stoic philosopher Seneca's words, true friendship is a plant of slow growth and must undergo and withstand the shocks of adversity before it is entitled to the appellation. In a world where facades often eclipse the truth, the value of authentic friendship cannot be overstated. True friendship is not just a superficial exchange of pleasantries. It is a deep and meaningful connection between people. It's a bond where honesty flourishes, where authenticity is more valued than appearances. In these relationships, there's a mutual exchange of not just words, but of emotions, thoughts, and experiences. So, as we navigate through our social circles, Encountering these perpetual friends to everyone, let's remember to seek connections that are genuine and heartfelt. Let's cherish those rare friendships that go beyond the surface, where we can be our true selves without the fear of judgment. In the words of Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. In this context, it means valuing depth over popularity, sincerity over charm, and genuine connections over fleeting acquaintances. In conclusion, while the perpetual friend to everyone may bring temporary joy and excitement to our lives, it's the deeper, more meaningful relationships that truly enrich our existence. These are the friendships that withstand the test of time, growing stronger with each challenge, and providing a safe haven in the tumultuous sea of life. Let's strive to be authentic in our interactions valuing quality over quantity in our friendships, and remembering that true connection is a rare and precious gem to be treasured. The Constant Provocator Next, let's delve into a particularly intriguing character. The Constant Provocator Picture someone who seems to always be right, at least in their own eyes. This individual is a maestro at stirring up annoyance a puppeteer of emotions working in the shadows where their maneuvers are not easily spotted. Imagine the difference between a fleeting moment of impatience, which we all experience, and the persistent irritation that this person brings about. They have a knack for tossing out words and actions that are like tiny sharp needles. These needles don't leave obvious scars, but they do prick and annoy, sowing seeds of doubt and twisting reality with their sly remarks. Their provocations are so subtle, they're almost invisible, yet they're incredibly effective. The real challenge lies in recognizing this emotional chess game. It's a slow, stealthy battle, one that these provocators relish. They don't necessarily seek tangible rewards. Their satisfaction comes from throwing others off balance, from the discomfort they cause. It's a game played for the sake of the game, with little regard for the emotional turmoil they create. Awareness is your shield in this scenario. When you notice a pattern of irritation around someone, it's a sign that you might be caught in their subtle web of manipulation. These provocators often mask their intentions behind seemingly harmless jokes or offhand comments, making their tactics hard to pinpoint. 
To navigate these treacherous waters, you must be consciously prepared. Recognizing even the slightest manipulation is the first step in safeguarding yourself. Sharpening your perception of these interactions helps you maintain your emotional equilibrium and respond in a measured way. Remember the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. In this context, it means being vigilant and observant. By understanding the subtle strategies of these individuals, you empower yourself to move through complex social situations with greater clarity and resilience. This awareness doesn't just protect your emotional health, it also enables you to engage more genuinely and less reactively with those around you. In conclusion, the constant provocator is a character who tests our patience and emotional intelligence. By being aware of their tactics and understanding the nature of their game, we can protect ourselves from their subtle manipulations. This knowledge equips us to interact with others in a more authentic and composed manner, enhancing our relationships and personal well-being. Remember, in the face of such challenges, awareness is your most powerful tool. The one devoid of empathy. In the realm of interpersonal relationships, we often encounter a diverse array of characters, each with their unique traits and tendencies. Among these, a particularly challenging type is the individual who lacks empathy. This person, often skilled in manipulation, views others merely as tools to achieve their ends, disregarding the emotional turmoil they might cause. Their actions, devoid of any consideration for others' feelings, can lead to significant emotional distress and conflict. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, is akin to a guiding light in the complex world of human emotions. It's what enables us to ask ourselves, what if I were in their shoes? And act with compassion and understanding, this quality is fundamental to building trust and fostering meaningful connections. Without it, relationships are built on shaky ground, often leading to misunderstandings and hurt. The person devoid of empathy is like a player in a chess game, moving pieces without regard for the emotional impact of their actions. They may manipulate situations and people to suit their needs, often leaving a trail of emotional chaos in their wake. This lack of empathy is not just insensitivity. It's a profound deficit in emotional intelligence, manifesting in behaviors that can be harmful to those around them. Such individuals often shirk responsibility for their actions when they err or cause harm, they rarely acknowledge their fault, instead resorting to excuses or shifting blame. This behavior not only causes emotional distress, but also sows seeds of confusion and conflict in personal and professional relationships. The lesson here is clear. When interacting with someone who shows a marked lack of empathy, caution is paramount. Their inability to appreciate and respect others' feelings makes them potentially harmful in relationships. They can be sources of emotional pain and unnecessary conflict. It's crucial to approach such individuals with a blend of awareness and caution. Recognizing a lack of empathy can be a valuable skill in safeguarding oneself from manipulation and deceit. Trust should be extended to those who demonstrate a genuine understanding of the impact of their actions on others. These individuals, by empathizing with others, lay the foundation for relationships based on mutual respect and genuine care. As we navigate the complexities of human interactions, it's essential to remember that not everyone has the capacity or willingness to empathize. This awareness helps us form stronger, more meaningful connections with those who truly value and understand the nuances of human emotions. In this journey of understanding interpersonal relationships, we learn to cherish and nurture bonds with empathetic individuals, for they are the ones who enrich our lives with genuine understanding and heartfelt connections. In conclusion, the absence of empathy in a person is a significant red flag in any relationship. It's a trait that can lead to manipulation, emotional distress, and conflict. Recognizing and understanding this can help us make informed decisions about whom to trust and respect. By valuing empathy and nurturing relationships with those who possess this quality, we can create a more compassionate and understanding world. This understanding not only protects us but also guides us in forming deeper, more meaningful connections with others. The Master of Duplicity 
In the realm of human interactions, we often encounter a variety of characters, some of whom may not always deserve our trust and respect. Among these, the eighth type is particularly noteworthy. The master of duplicity. This individual is a skilled artisan in the craft of gossip, adept at presenting a friendly facade while simultaneously weaving a complex web of rumors and intrigues behind the scenes. Their talent lies in their ability to switch seamlessly between a warm smile and kind words to the creation of harmful stories about others, leaving a wake of misunderstandings and mistrust. The danger posed by such individuals is not overt, but lies in their subtle ability to sow discord. They are experts at blending truths and falsehoods, making it challenging to separate fact from fiction. With just a few well-placed comments, they can tarnish reputations, warp perceptions, and destabilize strong relationships. This behavior is akin to walking through a minefield of distrust and deception, where honesty and integrity are alien concepts. When encountering such duplicity, it's crucial to act decisively. Protecting your peace and well-being becomes paramount, and distancing yourself from these individuals is often the most prudent course of action. By doing so, you shield yourself from being caught in their vortex of gossip and falsehoods, thus preserving your integrity and tranquility. The presence of such toxic individuals in your life can have far-reaching consequences. They erode trust and pollute the social atmosphere with their venomous words. Recognizing and distancing yourself from these people is not just advisable. It's a necessary act of self-defense. It's a strategic move to safeguard your mental and emotional health. This character serves as a stark reminder that not all smiles are genuine and not all friendly words are heartfelt. The key lesson here is to remain vigilant and protective of yourself. Identifying and extricating yourself from those who indulge in gossip and duplicity is vital for navigating the complex terrain of human relationships. In doing so, you choose a path of honesty and integrity, steering clear of those who dwell in the shadows of falsehood and dishonesty. To further illustrate this point, consider the story of Icarus from Greek mythology. Icarus, with his wax wings, was warned by his father Daedalus to neither fly too low nor too high. However, Icarus, intoxicated by the thrill of flight, soared too close to the sun, causing his wings to melt and leading to his downfall. This allegory resonates with our discussion. Just as Icarus failed to heed wise counsel, falling prey to his hubris, individuals who engage in duplicity and gossip often overestimate their ability to manipulate without consequence. They fly too close to the sun of deceit, eventually leading to their own downfall and negatively impacting those around them. In conclusion, the lesson to be drawn is one of vigilance and self-preservation. It's crucial to recognize and distance oneself from those who thrive on duplicity and gossip. By doing so, you not only protect your mental and emotional well-being, but also foster an environment of trust and sincerity. This approach is not just about avoiding negative influences. It's about actively choosing a life of integrity and honesty, which ultimately leads to healthier and more fulfilling relationships. The Incessant Critic In the realm of human interactions, there exists a character often encountered yet seldom beneficial, the incessant critic. This individual, akin to a relentless storm in the landscape of relationships, tends to reveal more about themselves than those they critique. It's as if a glaring spotlight is cast upon them, illuminating their true nature. This brings us to a pivotal question. When is it wise to distance oneself from such personalities? Envision a serene clearing amidst a tumultuous forest, symbolizing a haven for healthy relationships, far removed from the chaos of constant criticism. Think of those who indulge in gossip and rumors as shadowy figures in an old village their whispers lingering even in your absence. Choosing to step away from their presence is as prudent as a sailor steering clear of stormy seas. These individuals, fixated on highlighting the faults of others to elevate themselves, are akin to attendees at a masquerade ball, hiding their true intentions behind ornate masks. As you absorb this narrative, consider yourself a discerning observer of life's theater. Reflect on the critics and gossipers around you. 
They are not contributors to constructive endeavors. Instead, they are the jesters in the grand play of life, intent on belittling others to conceal their own insecurities. As you navigate through this story, be mindful of the company you keep. Choose companions who uplift and support your journey. Those who readily dispense malice are equally quick to betray trust. To illustrate this further, let's delve into a historical anecdote. Picture Socrates, the renowned philosopher, who encountered a similar scenario in ancient Athens. He was often surrounded by critics and naysayers, yet he chose to engage with them through thoughtful dialogue and questioning. His approach was not to distance himself but to challenge their perspectives, thereby revealing the shallowness of their criticisms. This story serves as a reminder that while it's important to distance oneself from toxic individuals, there can also be value in confronting and understanding their viewpoints. In conclusion, the lesson here is twofold. First, recognize the importance of distancing oneself from those who consistently criticize without constructive purpose. Their negativity often stems from their own insecurities and dissatisfaction. Second, consider the value in engaging with critics in a manner that fosters understanding and growth. By doing so, you not only protect your well-being but also open the door to deeper insights into human behavior. The advice to the audience is clear. Cultivate relationships that are nurturing and positive and approach criticism with a discerning mind, using it as a tool for personal growth and understanding. The Unreliable Commitment Phobe in the intricate dance of human interactions, we often encounter a peculiar character, the unreliable commitment phobe. This person is marked by a distinct inability or reluctance to stick to commitments, be they plans, promises, or responsibilities. Their behavior forms a labyrinth of unkept promises and broken commitments, casting a shadow of disappointment and mistrust. The commitment phobe is typically quick to make plans or promises, yet their execution is woefully inadequate. They're notorious for canceling at the 11th hour, overlooking significant dates, or failing to meet their obligations. This habitual unreliability can be exasperating and harmful, particularly in personal or professional realms where dependability is paramount. Handling such individuals necessitates a blend of empathy and firmness. It's vital to convey the consequences of their unreliability while also setting realistic expectations. However, if this behavior persists despite your best efforts, it may be prudent to reassess the trust and reliance you place in them. In the realm of relationships, consistency is a fundamental pillar of trust and respect. When someone habitually neglects their commitments, it disrupts more than just plans. It gradually undermines the very bedrock of trust. In such cases, it's advisable to lessen your reliance on these individuals and seek connections with those who demonstrate a higher regard for their commitments. To illustrate, consider the story of Marcus, a renowned sculptor in ancient Rome. Marcus was known not only for his exquisite art, but also for his steadfast reliability. Contrastingly, his apprentice, Gaius, was talented but notoriously unreliable. Gaius would often promise to complete sculptures on time but regularly failed to do so causing frustration among patrons. Marcus, recognizing this pattern, decided to entrust important projects only to those who mirrored his own reliability. This decision not only maintained the integrity of his workshop, but also taught Gaius the importance of commitment. In essence, recognizing and confronting the challenges posed by the unreliable commitment phobe is crucial for nurturing healthy, trustworthy relationships. By doing so, you safeguard yourself from repeated letdowns and cultivate connections with individuals who value and uphold their commitments. The lesson here is clear. Surround yourself with those who respect the sanctity of their word, as this is the foundation upon which trust and respect are built. In doing so, you not only enhance your personal and professional life, but also contribute to a culture of reliability and integrity. As we draw this enlightening journey to a close, I'd like to leave you with a profound secret, one that has the potential to transform your perception of the world. If this video has sparked a light of curiosity in you, 
imagine the wealth of knowledge and insight that awaits on our channel. Stoic in your life. Each video we craft is not just a standalone piece but a fragment of a grander mosaic, intricately piecing together the complexities of human nature and offering strategies for a life that's not just lived but richly experienced. When you subscribe to Stoic in your life, you're not just joining a channel, you're becoming part of a community. A community that thrives on insightful thinking and a relentless quest for wisdom. This isn't just a channel, it's a gathering of minds all united in the pursuit of deeper understanding and fulfillment. But such treasure shouldn't be hoarded. I urge you to share this video with your friends and family. You never know whose life could be touched or transformed by these insights. Sharing is not just about supporting our work. It's about spreading the light of knowledge and understanding, a noble act that resonates with the Stoic philosophy. Remember, your thoughts and experiences are invaluable to us. They're not just comments. They're reflections of your journey, insights that can enlighten others. Each story you share, every reflection you offer, opens a new window to unexplored perspectives, enriching not just your experience, but that of every member of our community. And if this video has resonated with you, let your support shine through with a like. Each like is more than just a number. It's a beacon, guiding us and affirming that our content is making a difference encouraging us to delve deeper and bring even more enriching content to you. In the words of the great Stoic philosopher Seneca, as is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. Let's make our tale one of continuous learning and growth. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and let the wisdom of Stoicism guide you in your life's journey.